All right, you guys, if you could please turn to 4.3, prove triangles congruent by SSS. All right. This postulate, side, 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 basically says if you have three sides in one triangle congruent to three sides in another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. You don't have to go about and prove all three sides and all three angles are congruent. If, if you have all three sides, automatically you know the sides and the angles are congruent. So, for example, in here, if side AB, that's the side here, is congruent to side RS, side BC is congruent to side ST, and side CA is congruent to side TR. Then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RST. All right, so for example, given that FJ is congruent to JH and G is the midpoint of FH. Now remember, midpoint means that this, that G cuts it in half. That means this is going to be congruent to this. Also, notice that, uh, that, it sh that both the triangles share side JG. And JG is congruent to JG by reflexive property. So, it is given that FJ is congruent to JH, that's a given. Point G is the midpoint of FH, so FG is congruent to GH or HG. And by reflexive property, JG is congruent to itself. So, by the SSS congruence postulate, triangle FGJ is congruent to triangle HGJ. Okay? Alright, I'll let you guys do these. You don't have to do a full proof here. You just have to um, decide whether the congruent statement is, is true. And maybe write out some reasons to tell um, why you think the, the way that you do. Alright, um, I apologize this got really cut off here, but I'll try to draw in what's missing. This triangle... This is T, this is R, and let's see, I think this is an S over here. Okay. Alright, determine whether triangle PQR is congruent to the other triangles. Okay. By counting PQ equals 3, QR equals 5. So we just need to find this. So I'm going to use the distance formula to find PR. This is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is 2, 2. So this is going to be. 2 minus negative 3 squared plus 2 minus 5 squared. And they don't really give much room, so I'm going to do this over here. The minus negative becomes a positive. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, so I have negative 3 squared. 25 plus 9, this is going to give you square root of 34. By the SSS congruence postulate, any triangle with the side lengths, 3, 5, and the square root of 34 will be congruent to PQR. The distance from R to S, okay, if we just count, you'll see that it's 3. The distance from R to T, if you count, is 5. So, let's see here. This is 2, it's negative 3. And S is, let's see here, 5, 2. Okay. So, this distance is going to be 2 minus 5 squared plus negative 3 minus 2. 
squared. And I'll do this over here. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. And you can kind of already tell that this is going to give you the same thing, but we'll just do it out. This will give you 9 plus 25, which is root 34. So, triangle PQR is congruent to triangle SRT. Make sure you line up the letters correctly. <coughs> okay, the distance from W to V, that's these two, this is, let's see here, negative 3, negative 2, and this point is 0, negative 3. So you're going to have negative 3 minus 0 squared plus negative 2 minus negative 3 squared. These become positive. So I've got square root negative 3 squared plus um, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. So I've got 9 plus 1 which gives me the square root of 10. This equals the square root of 10. No side of triangle PQR has the length of, of root 10. So PQR is not congruent to triangle VWR. Okay? <coughs> Alright, I'll let you guys do this one. Let's go on to page 3. Stability. Explain why the table with the diagonal legs is stable while the one without the diagonal legs can collapse. Okay. The table with the diagonal legs forms triangles with fixed side lengths. By the SSS congruence postulate, these triangles cannot change shape. <coughs> Basically, no matter what I do, these triangles are going to going to remain in their shape because the side lengths all stay the same. If the side lengths all stay the same, the triangles are not going to change shape. This one, or sorry, so the table is stable. The table without diagonal legs is not stable because there are many possible quadrilaterals. Remember, a quadrilateral has four sides with these given side lengths. I could shift this this way or that way, change these angles, and get different quadrilaterals with these same side lengths. That's why this is not, this is not considered stable. And this one is. Okay? Alright, so, I'll let you guys do these two. All you need to tell me is whether or not each of these are stable and give me a little explanation. And that's all for today.